Hey Honey Bunny, it is your sis Rocky. If you are part of the Bunny family, welcome back sister. I am so happy to see you. And if you're not part of the Bunny family, I am Rocky and I make videos about natural hair, skin, and just overall health and wellness. So if any of those topics interest you, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also turn on your notification bell so every time I upload, you will be the first to know. In today's video, I'm going to be doing another wash and go. As you can see, there's a lot of volume. There's a lot going on, all right? So if you're interested in seeing how I achieved this look, stay tuned. For this wash and go, I'm going to be using the As I Am Twist Defining Cream. And then I'm also gonna be using the Ampro Pro Style Super Hold Protein Styling Gel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply the As I Am Twist Defining Cream to each section. And I'm going to use my Tango Teaser to detangle each section. And then I'm gonna take a liberal amount of the Ampro Pro Style Super Hold Protein Styling Gel and apply that on top and then I'm doing my old faithful and I am back to shingling because shingling works well for my hair. I've mentioned before my hair has grown a lot and it hasn't grown in length, it actually has grown in width. So my hair looks like it's more dense but the reality is it's just growing wider, not longer. So shingling has just been really beneficial for me raking has been detrimental so like every time i do the raking mm -mm, sis, mm -mm, it does not come out right but when i shingle yes if you've seen my best wash and go for type 4 hair from 2018 and if you've seen my best wash and go for type 4 hair from 2019 you know that i love to use brown gels they're just my favorite I am going to just continue this process, apply the as I am, use my tangle teaser, and then apply the Am Pro Styling Gel, and just do my whole head. And then I am going to use my infamous clips at my roots just to hold down my puffy, puffy, puffy roots. So, yes, let's do this. Okay, now that I'm done doing my hair, I am going to sit under my hooded dryer for only about 30 minutes. I'm not, because my gel is brown, my styler is brown, it doesn't look super white in my hair, so I don't feel like I need to really dry my hair. I can do most of my drying as air drying. Okay, so this is my hair. It is about 80% dried. As you can see, my clips, you know, did their job. My hair is super dense, so there's only so much that they can really do. But to be honest with you, this is my first wash and go that I actually like. So I've done quite a few wash and goes so far, but this is the first one I'm like, okay, I, I can actually handle this. This doesn't look that bad. And I think a part of it is because of my mind frame. Like I let go of that. I'm gonna get a sleek look. I'm gonna have a sleek wash and go. I'm gonna look sleek. No, I don't have the density for sleek. So I have accepted the big high density look of my wash and go. Now I can actually enjoy my wash and go because I don't have this expectation of something that my hair cannot produce. So I think a lot of times when we're natural, we expect our hair to be able to do things that it can't. And when it can't do it, it's frustrating. But if you come to terms with it, if you embrace yourself, if you get that self-love and that confidence like, okay, so my hair can't do this, but it can do that. And it's beautiful all in its own. It may not be like her hair. I may not be able to do the wet look, but girl, look what I can do or I'm happy with what I can do. I think that's one of the things I'm really trying to encourage on my channel is self-love, love your hair, love your skin even with the imperfections as you know i am on a quest for perfect skin but through this quest i've kind of had like the worst skin that i've had in my life but that doesn't make me love myself any less it doesn't make me feel less valued none of those things diminish the value of myself because i have the confidence i have the love for myself to know okay yeah my skin's going through it it's not looking good right now but that has nothing to do with who i am as a person and hey my hair is type 4 it's super dense it's kind of kinky i love it and recently there was some 
comedian, I think his name's like Little Duvall, decided that they needed to just put their hate out there and say they didn't like, like the big bushy look, but okay. And I think when people and when society does that and they put these limitations on women like, oh, you gotta have straight hair, oh, you have to be light skin, oh, your body has to look like this, oh, you can't have this, oh, you gotta have big boobs, oh, you can't have a big nose, oh, big lips are in now. And it's like just this world and their desire to tell people what is attractive and what isn't attractive is just really like baffling to me because I just don't understand why everyone always has to put their standards of beauty on other people. Like I myself personally think I look beautiful like this. I myself personally thought I looked beautiful with relaxed hair too. But as I grow as a person, my ideas of beauty change and as people grow their ideas of beauty may change as well so why like put women in a box and make them feel like they have to look a certain way when like 10 years later you could have a completely different idea of what beauty even looks like so I really like if you're struggling with comments or commentary or people's opinion your sis Rocky is here to let you know the most important opinion in your life especially if you're not married is your opinion of yourself. Like really think about the things you say to yourself in your head on a day to day. Figure out if they're things that are nice or things that are mean. Like would you say the things that you say in your head to yourself out loud to another person? Because if not, then you're probably not being very nice to yourself. And I think a part of self-love is speaking to yourself in a caring, loving way. If you start to change that internal dialogue within yourself, you're going to start feeling better about yourself. And it's not going to matter what people say to you or what they think. And you're just going to be like, okay, yeah, you may not like it, but that means you're not for me. That means you're not the type of person that needs to be in my life. And bye. And there's the door that means you know if there's a singer an actor or someone out there who wants to spew this hatred that doesn't relate to how you feel inside don't support them you don't have to spin your coins on them you don't have to give them views you don't have to listen to their music you don't have to try to school them because idiots are going to be idiots but you can do your part and say I'm not going to allow that type of energy in my life so, you know, if people want to listen to your music or if people want to watch your shows, that's their prerogative. Do what you want to do, whatever makes you happy, good for you. But for me, like if someone is a trigger, like if I listen to something or watch something and it's a trigger for me, I don't continue to support it. It doesn't make me feel good on the inside. So why would I force myself to listen or watch something that doesn't make me feel good? So. Self-love is my, my number one thing. I try to infuse it into my videos, but I don't know if the point always gets across, but self-love is my number one priority to spread throughout all the people and lives that I touch with my platform. So if that's something that really speaks to you and something that you relate to, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Leave me comments of positivity below in my comment section. Let's start a discussion and, you know, join the sisterhood because my sisterhood is about positivity. This platform here is for me to connect with the people that God put me here to connect with. So I know I just went off and I started ranting and I was supposed to be talking about my hair. But anyways, back to what I was saying. This is one of my favorite wash and goes that I've done so far because I have embraced the fact that, yes, my hair has grown longer. No, my hair actually hasn't grown longer. It's grown wider. So when I look at my hair and I compare it to wash and goes from last year, I'm like, I can see the growth, but I don't see it in length. I just see it like bigger. And even this section, like this section here has always drawn up because this is a really coily section that I have, but like it even looks even more drawn up. And I'm like, ooh, why? Okay. But yes, I am embracing it. Like it's supposed to be down here, you know, you don't need to be that short. But if you've been following me for a while, you also know I don't pick and fluff because as you know, your wash and goes do get bigger throughout the week. So if I picked and fluffed this, 
by day three I'd have afro which there's nothing wrong with the afro but I like to keep my hair as managed and tamed as possible I've said it a thousand times I like flat hair and that might be because my hair is not flat we always want what we don't have but I like my hair to be as flat as possible that's why I hold it down I know it's already naturally going to get bigger so the flatter it is on the first day the longer my wash and go can last so I'm not saying I like flat hair because I literally want relaxed hair or I literally want flat hair I'm saying I like flat hair for my first day simply because I know I'll get more days out of my wash and go and I like I actually am, am coming to really enjoy Enjoy the wash day experience weird I know but I don't want to have to put my hands in my hair all the time I do believe one key factor in length retention is leaving your hair alone if I'm always washing it and shampooing it and brushing it and combing it and doing this and doing that and doing this it's like I'm stressing it out it's like leak girl leave me alone you just did me a day ago and I literally just did my hair two days ago and then I put it in a puff and now I did a wash and go. So the more days I can get out of a wash and go, the less tempted I am to put my hands in my hair and just do stuff. I'm like, oh, I could do a twist up. I could do a braid up. This style is frizzed out. So let me do something else. No, leave it alone. Leave it alone. I have issues with that. So yes, I really like this wash and go. If you like it as well, please give me a thumbs up. If you like wash and go videos, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and I will try to do more of them. If you like talking videos where I talk about self-love or where I talk about how I, you know, got confidence or things like that. If you like motivational type videos, leave me a comment below because I don't really do a lot of them on my channel. My goal is to infuse self-love into my videos I don't think I've been doing a really good job of it lately hopefully I can improve on that I think a part of self-love is learning how to master yourself and that might include mastering how to do your hair I need to maybe verbalize it a little more and like encourage you like lately I've been really struggling with a negative mind frame and I keep having to tell myself you're happy you're a happy person you're happy people can't control your happiness this idiot that just cut you off whatever is going on that's their problem do not let it soak into your day and ruin your day stop letting like traffic and stuff ruin your whole freaking day like it's not that big of a deal be a happy person you're a happy person i'm happy i'm happy i'm happy and like i'm saying this over and over in my head and it's like it's there it slowly starts to sleep through like oh yeah i am happy oh yeah it's not a big deal oh yeah that's their problem oh yeah oh you don't want to smell i'm smelling hey so it's like these little things that i do to just like boost myself so if you're into that kind of stuff Leave me a comment below and I can try to like make more content that surrounds that type of, you know, inspirational video. Um, but yeah, chit chat with me. Subscribe because I'd love to have you. As always, I hope you learned something new. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to me because I'd love to have you. But until next time, see ya.